Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of days ago, I posted letting you know that Microsoft had made Windows Update titles easier to understand. And as mentioned in the video, which will be linked, Microsoft had announced a new simplified naming format for Windows Updates. Check the video out for more info. Because the big difference here is you can see that Microsoft has removed how it was previously the date and cumulative update. It's removed that from the title and just provided a much more simpler format as mentioned, which I actually said I liked and I thought this was a move in the right direction. But it does seem though that not everybody was feeling the same way as me because Microsoft has received quite heavy backlash for removing the date and months like it previously was from the Windows Update titles. And a lot of users, especially IT admins, feel that it became difficult to identify when updates were released, especially, obviously, if you are an IT admin in an enterprise environment and you don't just have one or two computers to manage, you've got sometimes up to hundreds or even thousands. So I suppose if you are in those environments, having the date and cumulative update would make a, a lot more sense. Now, just to let you know that if you did find yourself on the side of not liking the new simplified update titles, if we head over to X, Microsoft has announced and confirmed that it's going to restore the month and year format in Windows Update titles, saying, due to your feedback, we are going to ensure that the date, month and year remain present on update titles. Please keep the feedback coming. We are listening. And I'm sure that's going to create a bit of debate that Microsoft is listening. But nonetheless, Microsoft is going to reverse that change. And at this stage, there's no word if Microsoft is going to restore labels like cumulative update or the OS version, Windows 11 version 25H2, which has also been removed but obviously, like all these little changes and tweaks and adjustments and Microsoft jumping around, so to speak, I'll try and keep you posted when I can. And let me know down in the comments. Do you prefer the simplified format or the longer format? Let me know your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.